Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to show you guys uh, three different mounts. Uh, we have three pretty popular ones. We have the beginner Atlas EQG slash uh, the uh, Skywatcher EQ6. We have the Mighty Mount and we have the uh, Mac 1 from Astrophysics. So um, I'm returning the Mighty Mount in just a few days and my friend Patrick uh, is trying to sell his Mac 1 mount. And since I'm returning the Mighty Mount, he offered to let me use his Mac 1 mount for a couple of months. And um, I was like, you know what? I might as well just learn it and uh, have one more mount learned under my sleeve. So um, we have three mounts currently, and I hope it's going to be useful for you guys and interesting uh, to go over the design of each mount. By the way, I drove like one hour to come to this place. Uh, I could have just done it for my backyard, but um, I wanted the extra uh, emptiness behind. The problem is there is like a bunch of nails like everywhere and I just realized that so I'm really scared for the tires like there is like nails everywhere so I'm really scared. All right so first we have the Atlas EQG mount which is the same as the Skywatcher EQ6 uh, just a different branding and different color so um, as of today, I would recommend a uh, Atlas Pro or the EQ6 Pro instead, because this one is kind of old now. This mount is very simple in design. So we have four knobs uh, to polar align, those two here, which are really great, and those two here. Now, these two knobs are, for me, I hate them. Uh, they are really, really uh, annoying because they get stuck. Like this one, for example, has been stuck for a long time. I'm sure I could fix that with some grease, but um, I don't like to bother, so I don't. <laughs> but um, for me, like this one is really, really stuck. So sometimes I have to actually use the, the length of the leg instead of uh, this knob to uh, go up or down, which is really annoying. But besides that, uh, these knobs are great. I know the Pro version has better knobs here. Now we have uh, the counterweight bar here, which is included inside, uh, unlike the other mounts here. So you can just uh, retract and extend the counterweight bar easily. It's already in there, which is great. Then um, for the design, we have a polar scope included. So this one uh, here is a, a polar scope in, uh, on this side as well. We can take off the cover here. And uh, yeah, so the mount is, uh, it, it's a pretty good mount. I, I love this mount, uh, it, it never fails. I think it's one of the, the most uh, reliable mounts in the world. And I absolutely love this mount and I love uh, everything about it. <laughs> now, the knobs to uh, rotate the axis, we have one knob here, really simple to access, really simple. And we have one here as well. I'm just showing you guys this because the other mounts are different and I want you guys to see the difference between all the mounts. So I know this is pretty basic, like everyone knows that, but you will see the difference between each mount. And then uh, lastly is the hand controller. Uh, we have a hand controller here, which connects to the mount on this side. And uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty old school, but um, it works. There's a bunch of, of stuff you can use. I never use this hand controller anymore because I use the SI Air or SGP and I never, never, never use it anymore, but I used to. And then we also have a bubble level uh, included on the mount itself here. And then the tripod came with the mount. It's a pretty cool tripod. Uh, it comes with an eyepiece holder here, and I think it's uh, it's great. For the price, I love this mount, and I will always say it, I love this mount. And then the dove plate here, or the dove plate holder, is uh, pretty cool, I mean, it's pretty basic. It does not seem very, very, very sturdy, but um, I mean, it's okay. It has never failed us so far. The good thing about this one, though, is that you can attach both small dovetails and you know, large, like those Mandy style dovetails, so it's pretty cool. Alright guys, so next we have the Paramount Mighty Mount from Software Bisque. This is obviously the most beautiful of all the mounts here, uh, probably of all the mounts ever. Uh, this is really, really beautiful, so red and so sexy, it's true. <laughs> Alright, so let's go over the design of this mount. So first, um, the tripod. The tripod is really great. Uh, it's actually kind of like a tripod uh, slash pier. So as you can see, we have like a pier in the center and the tripod legs around it. So you can actually um, put this as high as you want or as low as you want. Um, it's great. 
It also has bubble levels uh, included uh, on each side here. So there is actually three of them, which is great. And the legs uh, can extend quite a bit. Uh, so you can really go high if you want, even though there is no point. Um, so then these, the one thing I don't like about this tripod is that there is like those four uh, screws, those four uh, whatever knobs to uh, attach the mount to the tripod. And it's really time consuming every single time to unscrew all these knobs and then screw them back uh, when the mount is on top. But um, besides that, it's, uh, it's a good tripod. So this mount has no power uh, scope included. So it's really annoying uh, for the price. I mean, it sucks because uh, you really have to use a, a software or uh, like an adapter here for the pole master, for example. Uh, you cannot manually with your eye see through it and uh, pull over line that way, unlike the Atlas. Then, uh, so on the knobs for polar alignment, we have two knobs in the back here, which are great, they're fantastic. I like those knobs, really easy to use, very really smooth. And for the uh, up and down position, we have the, this knob here, which is also very, very easy to use. It's just one knob, unlike the Atlas, which had two. This one is really smooth as well. And then um, the counterweight bar goes over here, so it comes separately. So you have to uh, screw it like this. I don't have it here. Uh, so it's not like inside the mount, like the Atlas, for example. Then uh, for the uh, rotation of the axis, we have one knob. So one knob on this side, just like that. And one knob on this side, just like that, which it's kind of weird to use at first. Uh, it's really strange. It's not like a knob like the Atlas. It's like a locking small it's like a small locking knob it's very strange but you get used to it so on top we have the versa plate so you can unlock the plate like that and put your telescope here so the one thing i don't like about this plate or this versa plate is that you can only put uh, the big dovetails uh, the like those mandy style dovetails you cannot put uh, a small regular uh, you know small dovetails on this so it's really annoying I wish there was like a, a double, uh, a way to attach both of them on this. And then uh, we have also the hand controller here, which is uh, it's pretty sleek. Let me show it to you guys. It's, it's pretty sleek, but there is like only the rate that you can change. So the speed of the screwing, and you can manually move it like that. The good thing about this um, hand controller though, is that there is like the, uh, an included uh, light like a red light, so it's pretty cool. But I never use this hand controller, so I never, never even plug it in. So yeah, the Versa plate is not to my liking, um, but the good thing about this mount is that you can have cables go through the mount for cable management. And talking about cable management, you can also um, add, like plug in like USB stuff and your power on the Versa plate directly, which is awesome. Of course, uh, go check out our full review of this mount. Uh, we explain everything about it, but this is just talking about the design in general. All right, and lastly, we have this Astrophysics Mac 1 mount, uh, which is uh, pretty sleek. It's all black, and uh, I like how it looks overall. So um, let's start with the tripod. So the tripod is, I don't think it came with this mount, this is just a tripod that Patrick uses. I don't, I don't know if it came with the mount, so I, don't, I can't really talk about the, the tripod itself. But um, on, this, uh, on this mount, on the base here, what I really love about this base is that you do, there is like those, uh, those elongated holes where to attach it, you have to use those three screws and you can actually rotate like that. Like, uh, so it's pretty easy to find Polaris easily without having to rotate to move the tripod physically so if you're like a bit off of Polaris instead of having to like uh, you know uh, pull the tripod like you can actually unlock uh, the screws a bit and just turn the mount just like that which is pretty awesome if you ask me so I really love that and then uh, for uh, polar alignment there is no polar scope as well there is a hole here so you can actually see Polaris if you're in it you can actually look through it but uh, this hole is meant for cable management, so through the mount cabling, and it's not meant to polar align. So you can actually see Polaris through the hole, but you cannot use that to polar align. I know they have a uh, accessory to uh, to buy, but um, it doesn't come with a mount. 
So you also have to use a pull master or software to pull the line. Um, here we have some knobs. We have one knob to go up and down. Very easy knob, kind of like the Mighty, just one big knob, super smooth. And uh, once again, just like the Mighty, we have two knobs on the back here, which are also pretty simple to use. Um, now, this mount, um, instead of having all the electronics and stuff, like all the computer built inside, it actually comes separately. So, uh, well, it comes like on, in, a, in its own box. So on the back here, you can actually see uh, where all the brain of the mount is located. So this attaches to the back of the mount and uh, it's just a way, I guess, to uh, have less weight on the mount and maybe just, you know, have it separate. So it's, uh, I don't know if I like it or if I don't like it. Uh, it's interesting, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it, so you, everything, uh, like all the electronics and cabling goes behind here. But this mount, just like the Mighty, has some uh, through the mount possibilities. So that's great. It doesn't have any uh, ports behind the uh, dove plate here, but you can uh, put your cables in the mount through some holes here. Oh, here is once again where the, uh, just like the Mighty, where the counterweight bar would go. Once again, it's not built in like the Atlas. And then to rotate the mount, so this is what I don't like much about this mount. Uh, to rotate the mount, it's not just one knob like the Mighty or the Atlas, it's actually three knobs per axis. So you have to actually unlock three knobs, which is kind of time consuming, and rotate the mount. Just like that. Careful, don't ever let go if you don't have any counterweight bar or else your mount will crash. I'm going to just lock it. And so for each axis, there is just like, you know, three, three knobs, which is kind of strange if you ask me. I want to show you guys on this top here, as you can see, see? All right. And then uh, I don't actually know if it came with a hand controller. Uh, Patrick did not give me one, but I think he might have one. But once again, I never use a hand controller anyway for any mount, so uh, it doesn't really matter. This big knob here is actually to unlock this. Um, if you unlock this, you can you know, use this smoothly. That's pretty much what it does, just to lock this axis. And on top here, we have two things, so one on each side. On the right side is a bubble level, and on the left side is a compass, which is kind of great. So it shows you where the north is. So right now the north would be this way. Pretty cool. And then, uh, yeah, so here there is some holes for the cabling. And uh, what did I forget? Oh yeah, the dove plate. Let's go over this uh, dove plate really quick. All right, so here we have the dove plate, which is very, very similar, as you can see, to um, the Atlas. EQG mount, we can use both a small uh, dove plate, a dovetail and a big dovetail, so it's pretty cool. Alright guys, so those three mounts are really amazing. Uh, they all lack like at least one cool feature and then they all have their amazing features. Like for example, the Mighty Mount has like a bunch of uh, ports on the Versa plate, whereas the uh, Mac one does not. So, uh, but at the same time, the Mighty Mount cannot accept small dovetails, whereas the Mac one can. So they all have their own, you know, uh, amazing features, but they also lack some. Uh, so pretty much if you could combine all three, it would be amazing. Uh, but in terms of design, um, my favorite of all three, in terms of beauty, is definitely the Mighty Mount. In terms of cable management, is the Mighty Mount. In terms of overall features, the Mac 1. And in terms of uh, in terms of easiness of polar lining with the knobs, uh, both the Mighty and the Mac 1 come at the same uh, number one. Uh, the Atlas is probably the best in terms of uh, nothing, <laughs> just kidding, in terms of reliability for sure, because uh, the, the Atlas will never fail you, but um, I, I think the Atlas mount is probably the most, the, the less fragile of all three. But um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think of these mounts. Once again, so I'm returning the Mighty uh, in a few days and I'm going to uh, learn this Mac 1 mount for a couple of months before Patrick sells it. Uh, if you guys are looking for a Mac 1 mount, 
uh, maybe email me. I might put you in contact with Patrick um, so you can buy it from him if you want. So I will only have the Atlas mount left, but uh, I actually have one permanent full you know, long-term mount coming and I'm really, really, really excited about it. So I cannot wait to share it with you guys. It's going to be the forever mount and uh, it's going to be a great mount. So I'll see you guys next time and cheers guys. Thank you.